I don't think anybody can, can live in close proximity with elephants without falling in love with them. Um, they weave their magic. These are saying that goes, elephants never forget. It's really true. They never forget. Wow. For example, the keepers. Uh, since the keepers have been taking care of them, these elephants will always remember the keepers for the rest of their life. Come 30, 40 years, if I happen to go to Savo and happen to meet an elephant that I took care of in the nursery, the elephant will be able to tell me, will be able to uh, come to me. I might not be able to remember them or maybe identify them, but they'll identify me from my natural sense. The elephants bond with all of you, but they sleep with one person in each cabin, right? It's a different person every night that they'll be sleeping with. We rotate the keepers. Why? It's very important not to let them get too fond of any one person because when that man has time off, as he has to, um, the elephant can go into serious decline, grieving, thinking it's lost another family member. What's it like sleeping with the elephants? It is like uh, having uh, a human baby, newborn baby. Because they don't sleep for a long time, the newborns, they keep waking up, the ones that keep waking up every now and then. And sometimes the elephants, uh, you know, they wake up every three hours for feed. But some of them don't want to sleep in that interval of three hours. They keep awake. So it's like having a baby at home. Okay, next one. They have all the traits of humans. They're human children. You know, they, if you uh, pay too much attention to one and it, uh, a favorite keeper, for instance, the others get envious and jealous and a no little bit pushy. You know, they're a little bit shy of people they don't know, just like a human child. You know, um, they, they're quite happy to be touched anywhere by their keepers, of course. But, uh, you know, sometimes if a stranger comes and wants to fondle them, they don't like that. Their brain is huge and convoluted, just like the human brain, which means they, they think and reason, which they do. And um, they're just such, such intelligent, such wonderful animals with, with all sorts of attributes that we don't have, like the ability for infrasound to communicate over distance. They can hear seismic sound through their feet. They've got their own languages, we don't understand them, but we can see them communicate at some point. How? Well, exchanging their trunks in the mouth, that is one way of communication, and they tell how old they are, where they came from, and such like reasons. When we're moving elephants from the nursery here to one of the rehabilitation centres, the elephants at the other end always know and they won't leave the stockades, they wait there for them. The ones that are now wild in the bush often run back to the stockade to, to actually meet the new arrivals and greet them and welcome them into the fold because they all look upon each other as sort of family. Some of our nursery-raised elephants are now having their own wild-born babies, bringing them back to show the keepers that are based at the stockade, sharing their babies with the keepers, and that's a tremendous accolade, you know, for them to actually want to do that, particularly as they've been living as wild elephants amongst the wild community. They stay in, uh, in groups, in families, and they've got a leader in the family, just as we human beings do. They always have and respect the oldest female who is always the leader, regardless of the size. If a member dies, they mourn for the dead for like a week or so, and they bury the dead. They bury them? They bury the dead. They will not dig the graves, but they'll cover the dead from wherever they are. Soil, trees, and vegetation completely not to be identified by anyone and any other animal. They'll stay there even after burying the dead for quite some time, <clears throat> just to make sure that no one, no other animal, interferes with their dead member. Favorite thing of an elephant? Mm. I think it must be um, their maternal instincts. It doesn't matter whether it's a little calf of three weeks old that comes in and another one younger than her. Um, they automatically take care of the little ones. And, you know, they, they just have such big, big hearts. They have all the best traits of humans and a few of the bad.